Hi guys, welcome to the Frames of Technical channel. In the Python tutorial series, today we are going to start with the GUI application. So today in this lecture, I will explain you about how to design the GUI application. So GUI is nothing but already you are having idea graphical user interface. So this GUI we are going to see by using tkinter. Sir, how to use the tkinter in the Python that we are going to start now. So tkinter is you no need to install separately it is it will come with the python software only so to use the tkinter first you have to import the tkinter file so how to import you will write here from tkinter import start or do you know how to import in your package after that whenever you are you want to write a GUI application first import statement after that you have to create the object for this tkinter so how to create the object I will take a root. Generally what happens whenever you see any video or something they take the name as a root but it is not necessary. You can take any variable name but as it is suggested that root is nothing but the complete GUI root we call it and this is nothing but object of TK. So I created this one. Now into this one you the main thing two things will be there. So whatever your program is there you have to write inside the geometry layout. So how to create that geometry layout I will write root dot geometry so geometry is nothing but what how much will be your width and height of the GUI application so I wanted the width should be 800 and my height should be 400 so width is 8 and height is 400 and the very important thing root dot main loop sir what is this main loop main loop is nothing but what your program will be completely uh, like whatever your geometry is there that will be there in the main loop so if you don't write the main loop your program will means your screen will not come so already I'm having some GUI but I will not save into this one I will create one separate folder for this one I will give the name as Framesoft technical so my page name I gave as sorry my folder name I gave as Framesoft technical inside this I am saving this file as GUI one dot py. I save the file as gui one dot py. Now, now you just go to the command prompt, go to the D drive. Inside the D drive, my folder name is pr premsoft technical is my folder name. Then py space. What is our file name? gui one dot py. Enter. So my file is open. So what is the length of this file? This eight hundred is a width and 400 is a height so by default your width and height i have set here sir can i change the height here yes you can change it. i will give the height as 1000 and width as 500 i will save i will just go to that location and execute this so here see width is 1000 and height is 500 so automatically now i can minimize this and maximize this means how much you want you can take it like this you can make it how much big you want so this is what you can do it minimum but suppose you don't want to minimize more and maximum you want certain size can I fix it yes you can fix it so before that guys those who are new and not understanding this concept just I will tell you how to set this path see here you can see my program this is my program I store into D drive frames of technical folder gui onepy the same path I gave in the command prompt First I open the D drive, I go to the D drive, inside D drive my folder is frames of technical, whatever your folder name you can enter that and then I executed the file as py space gui1.py. So like this I created the file. Now after that if I open this one, might be you are seeing the by default name of this one is tk. Sir can I give my own title to my page? Yes, why not? So how to give that? Just you go to your file right here root dot title title is nothing but what whatever your page title you want so my page title i want my training institute name that is pr software training this is my page name i want so i am giving pr software training again once again just save and just execute this now see we got it our uh, this layout name is what pr software training so whatever the name you want you can give it to your file so after this 
nothing but what we did we created a geometry we created the title so now the one more very important feature as i said you are able to increase and decrease the size but i wanted to give the minimum size root dot min size previously if i drag it to the uh, so okay i will do one thing i will uh, just remove this feature first we'll just i will show you so that you should not get confusion after writing it this geo application i am making it small so it is giving how much so small you can make it up to like 0 to 0 i can say so i don't want to make it up to here it should be like minimum 100 to 100 by 100 like my size should be not less than like this i want to make it some minimum size means it should not go beyond this one so how to minimize this thing you have to write here root dot min size so what is the meaning of this minimum size sir what will be my minimum size 100 width and 100 height so i save to 100 by 100 now you will see same thing i will just try to make it small it is not happening why because i fix to 100 by 100 you can fix as per your comfort similarly when i i was making the big it was going how much big you want but you wanted to make it restricted how much max size whatever the max size will be there that so i wanted to give max size as 500 by 500 500 by 500 that is my max size but guys one thing you remember here okay i will do one thing because my geometry size is 1000 i will take it initially 1000 sir if i don't take the 1000 what will happen that is also we'll discuss means my maximum size is what 1000 by 500 and my geometry size is also 1000 by 500 now i cannot maximize it is more than this one just to try it it is not coming okay i am not able to maximize this I am not able to do it. Sir, can I just change the size and check it? So, I will write here maximum size will be 1200. Now, is it possible? Yes, because by default is 1000. You can make it bigger now later. So, I will just maximize it from here. So, see, it is maximized. It means what? Whatever the maximum size is there, up to that you can maximize the size. Now, my geometry, I gave the 500 by 500 and maximum is 1200 by 500 so you can maximize up to 1200 okay i hope you got this clarity now the second and one more thing guys width also see it is not increasing more than 500 because our width is 500 is max now the second thing you come into the picture sir i gave here 500 i gave here 500 and if i gave here 1000 because previously i was giving 1000 1000 it was working but now max height is max size is 500 and there i am giving 1000 will it work answer no it will not work whatever the max size up to that only it will come 500 if you try to exit it will not exit so make sure even though geometry you have given 1000 and max size is 500 so maximum size you can define up to what 500 only so just quickly we will recap the complete session here first we have to tick enter is nothing but we are importing the tick enter here then you have to create the compulsory object then you are creating the geometry is nothing but gi that application what is the size you want that default size you are taking here title you can set by using the root dot title after that mean size is nothing but minimum size what you want maximum size is nothing but what could be the maximum size of your gi and main loop is nothing but whatever the things are there you are putting into the main loop that so this is about what the basic introduction of take under. I hope you like my video. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel for more video. Thank you for watching my video guys.